On today's episode, we're talking droids. Now, not the Star Wars variety, but the camera type used for live production. PTZ cameras, the robotic workforce of the video industry. Now, to make these cameras work better, Lumens has sent us their new camera controller, the VSKB30, which does sound a lot like a droid from Star Wars. So, let's put the VSKB30 on the bench and see if this is the droid you're looking for. If you have PTZ cameras, then you probably have tried using the camera controller built into your switcher to move and manage those cameras. Now, usually they're good enough, but when is good enough ever enough? I mean, a donut hole is good, but a whole donut, now that's enough. And web-based camera control is slow and inaccurate, but that does allow someone else to move the camera and leave the technical director focused on the show. The controllers built into the switcher, like this one from NewTek, it's best suited for creating presets, but to do real work means getting deep in menus, and it also means getting in the way of the TD. That is, unless you are the TD, and like the ocean, you just took your eyes off the show to make adjustments to a camera, which could mean missing a shot or getting pummeled by waves. Both can be painful. But creating presets at the switcher does allow the TD to quickly find primary camera positions, and that also means camera positions can be triggered by macros. So this is the reason for external camera controllers. Now, controllers aren't new, but some of the previous generations of affordable controllers were very generic, they buried features under menus and have non-distinct buttons, and you're forced to label those buttons to, to get to the feature you want, and you can't do that on the fly. Plus, the screens on those are tiny and hard to see in a hurry. And most of these controllers only offer one control protocol. They're either serial based or they're IP based. Now if they're serial, you're limited to the number of cameras you can control and the wiring on these can get very complicated. If they're IP based, well then you have limited choices of IP only cameras. And if you're like us, well then you're adding cameras to your system and, and you could have a mixed bag of control, both IP and serial. Well Lumens has answered the call with the release of the VSKB30. Now this is a hybrid camera controller offering both serial and Visca over IP control as well as a few others. Multiple control protocols living in one camera controller. Now that's more than enough. First off, this camera controller is built like a tank. All metal construction while maintaining a nice ergonomic design. It also has a very solid base so there's no fear of it slipping away while you're pushing the joystick around. The knobs are very heavy and smooth, I mean, they're not going to run away from you when making adjustments where you go too far or not far enough. And it even has a magnetic rubber wedge to prop the controller up at an angle for better off-axis viewing. Don't like it? Pop it off and keep working. Okay, now that it's powered up, let's take a closer look at those buttons. Okay, so first and foremost, we have those dedicated buttons that we were talking about. So we've got zoom and pan tilt speed. So these are actually dials that we can control the exactness of the speed of both our zoom and our pan tilt. And notice that as I adjust those, the LEDs roll up and down so that with a quick glance, we can see what that setting is. That's gonna control both the joystick speed and the rocker speed. As we come over here on the left-hand side, we've got dedicated buttons for focus, iris and white balance. So all those are there. We have buttons to turn the exposures to auto or off, um, just do one quick one push autofocus. And again, we can control each of these um, designs or each of these features with a knob here to get the exactness and preciseness that we're looking for. And again, those little LEDs to show us exactly how much of each we're using. Now we've got a dedicated zoom rocker here um, and it's gonna be controlled by the main speed but the joystick itself has it built in as well. And this is a 4D joystick, meaning I can go up, down, left, right, but I can also twist, and that is going to control our zoom in and out. So with one hand, I can move the camera and I can zoom in the process. So if I'm, you know, got myself going different directions, I've got the ability to control the entire camera with just the joystick right there. Okay, so again, very clean interface, everything is clearly labeled, and those LEDs give us a lot of control in seeing what's happening on the interface. Because this camera controller has multiple control protocols built into it, the manual states it can control up to 255 cameras. Bear in mind, if you're using serial cameras for that connection, you're only gonna be able to hit 14. However, that's still the most controllers available on the market. Usually, they only offer six to seven serial connected cameras. Add in IP cameras and you're back up to 255. Plus, you also get up to 256 camera presets for quick recall of camera positions. But something you don't see often in camera controllers is a thing called patterns. 
sometimes called cruises. Patterns are camera movements that can be programmed and recalled. So if you want to replicate a shot that has complex motion involved in it, then program it to a pattern. You can use it as many times as you want. I mean, it is a robot, isn't it? Okay, last item, setup. Most IP systems require you to know the camera's IP address. And in this case, if you do, well, then that's great. You can punch it in. If you don't, then this controller has a feature that scours the network for controllable IP cameras, making the setup one of the easiest of any IP controller I've ever used. Okay, look, so if robotic cameras are your jam and you're struggling with a built-in controller on your switcher, perhaps it's time to look at the Lumens VS KB30. It's fast and easy to set up, easy to use, and very, very smooth. And while you're at it, look at the Lumens PTZ cameras for your next project. They make the perfect match, and, well, they may actually be the droids you're looking for. All right, that's it for this episode. Call, click, or email for more info, and make sure to hit the like button before our benefactors cancel the internet and we're forced to switch to a podcast. All right, this has been On the Bench.